Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Prison Break. Last time on Prison Break we had Orientacion. I think that's how you would say that, phonetically speaking. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Michael, Mahone, Teabag, and Bellic all got used, well, started out their time in the Sona prison. And, uh, yeah, things were, uh, tense to say the least. Michael, uh, is not making any allies. Uh, he ended up getting into a fight. However, Mahone is hell-bent on, uh, making an ally out of Michael, uh, because he wants to, uh, go with Michael when he eventually breaks out. Um, Michael was supposed to be transferred to a better prison, but that has fallen through because the company wants Michael to bust a specific person out. Uh, a guy named James Whistler, who is in, uh, Sona, uh, which is interesting. Um, Teabag is ingratiating himself to the boss of the prison, Lechero, I believe is his name. And, uh, Bellic is, uh, kind of working, uh, for Whistler, because Whistler is giving him some food, and that's better than anything else Bellic is getting at this prison, so yeah. Uh, then, meanwhile, Lincoln realized, uh, Lincoln found out that, uh, the company has captured, uh, LJ and Sarah, and they are the hostages, basically, to ensure that Michael does break out, so yeah. And that was pretty much it. It was a very interesting episode, and I'm curious to see where we are going next. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into this episode of Prison Break. Here we go. Something might even escape. Hmm. Hey. He's living hey. in the walls like freaking Bruno in Encanto. I don't have no money. Okay, I, I, I can see you up there. Get the Dude! Hey, 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 hey. Get up. That's our water! Does that mean no more water until the supply run? I said there will be more water. I mean, prop that up for... Hope it rains again. Hmm. So that was more of a message to the outside. Whoever ends up out there. This guy gave me some rat meat in exchange for putting that in your pocket in the pocket of the guy you said to fight. Why? And the guy has rats too. It really is Bruno. He might live down in those sewers. Doesn't have all his faculties. Where are the sewers? Ah. All right, good job, Michael. Oh, yeah. It's got to smell horrible. This dude lives down here. Whistler. Maybe you have to whistle. Maybe that's how you summon him. It's going to be a bit difficult getting me out of this hole. Seeing as if I go above ground, another inmate spots me. I'm a dead man. Okay, so stay below ground. That should be easy. It's gonna be hard. Why do they want me out of here so badly? Can you at least tell me that? No Just idea. You pretend you're innocent. Just a pawn in all this. If they told you anything about me before you came here, you'd know that to be true. I just want to know what they want with me. Stay put. No. Nah. The company works in mysterious ways. I'm going to have to insist that we just skip right past all the threats I know you're prepared to lay out. Should anything happen to Sarah or LJ, you will scour the earth and hunt me down and rip my heart from my chest and bop, bop, bop. No. I absolutely know how you feel, as would I. Okay? All right. It's done. On to business. Uh, this girl means business. There's a political spotlight on Whistler due to the nature of his crime. Raids, bribes, what have you, are not an option. We have to go in through the back door, so to speak. Hmm. What's your name? Susan B. Anthony. I'm assuming you weren't born by immaculate conception. Hmm. You're right, Lincoln. Family trees being what they are. Moms, dads, brothers, sisters. Anything happens to my son or Sarah. I'm not coming after you, Susan. Get to work. Hmm. Well, all right then. Hey, Sucre. Man, 
I guess get to Lincoln. So this is the second week, I think, that Mario Cruz is gone. Oh shit. Living like a king up there. Opa, opa, da buzuki. Up. This guy's challenging the boss. You know what this is like? It's like the Flying Dutchman. It's like the Flying Dutchman and uh, Michael is like Will Turner infiltrating. Say if Whistler guy gets killed here in Sona, whoever kills him gets to go to court. Gets to see a judge, judge friend. Oh. My friend wanted you to know, why didn't he tell you? Cause, cause you and I are friends now. Unless you want to be enemies. No. You don't want to be enemies with this man. What's this kid in for, anyway? But, but I'm not telling you anything until you get so me out of here. Is more, no. Oh, shit. I never had. At that house in Mexico, I chased your hand, Mary Cruz, huh? I knew it. I would lock him up for accessory if they didn't hightail it. I swear to God. Oh, okay. It's Mary Cruz. She's picking grapes. I have no idea. Okay, well, that's nice. Fair, call my mom and Juliet, Edna Bella, if she's listening. Sucre. I never laid a hand on Mary Cruz. I would never do that. Uh. Sucre, help me, please. Sucre, help me. Man, poor friggin' Bellic. Okay, I kind of figured he didn't have time to make this whole thing. Nah. Uh. He's real. Ah. Uh, yeah, my whole nose. No one's ever broken out of this place before, let alone with a week to plan it. No. Yeah, he has so, to plan it too. I'm gonna break this guy out of here, or I'm gonna die trying. And if it's the latter, then that should count for something. No. Right. That's gotta count for something. God, I hope so. Please. Ah, what's he doing? What are you doing here? Michael's locked up. For what? No. No, I'm sorting it through. I could use your help. We're in, a, we're in a bad spot. I feel for you, man, but I, I'm done with bad spots, Link. No. I'm gonna go see my cruise. I'm out of here, bro. I'm gonna go see my girl. Listen to me. The innocent people in your life, you gotta keep them innocent. That means walking away from me. That's what you gotta do. Good luck, Link. I, I don't blame him at all. Then you cut the mango, huh? You caused me a big, big problem out there today. You understand that? Now there's no more water. They yeah. Live. Oh yeah. We need water. He may have ruled the streets out there, but in here, he's just. Oh uh, man, revolution. Just like us. You won't be drinking your own urine before you get any of this. I just need to speak to Senior Lechero, please. All right, it is Lechero. Good information. Mm. Ah, shit. Information about Whistler. Bellick's still looking out for himself. Just my be Whistler. See, Patron? See? Hmm. These two boys brought you information. Is he Australian? Yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah, but Mahone's trying to get him out of there. Ah. Uh. Ugh! Oh. He's got clothes and food. He's coming with me. Ugh! Oh. Well, I mean, it's a good thing Mahone found him. Place. No. One that I want to get out of. Then I'll help you. I'll testify for you, whatever it takes. Oh. Well, let me help you, Alex. Oh, he's getting away. Can I trust this bobo? He's a snake. He's the snake. You're a snake. Back ever since he got. You talk like a snake. Some alcohol, booze. Booze, yeah. Well, I need it now. I'll lead her a gallon. Not the time for party. Bring it to me myself. 
No. Oh, he's thinking. This literally is just complete improvising by Michael, which he sucks at. Mi novia está embarazada. Ay, felicidades. Me voy a. Ha ha ha. Oh, Sucre. She didn't get it for the party, did you? Plastic bags. As many as you can get. I'll make it worth your while. Molotov cocktail? Ah, what was it? Why does he want this? Birds. I don't know. He's just a fisherman. A fisherman? A fisherman who likes birds. A fisherman, friend. Bye. Why won't your people just leave him alone? You think we want to be forced into this? You think we want to be here, lady? Forced into what? Hmm. She doesn't know. Not oh, a sweaty guy. That doesn't really narrow it down. There's a lot of sweaty people here. You can have them. But two of you will die in the process. No. You first, you first I'll rip this right around your head. Oh. Oh! Yeah, he's a trained killer, you know? No. Why'd you just fight the guy? Go down there. Run out of water. So you mean you've got a problem? Look, there was an accident. Uh, the tank tip over. My men need water. I'll see if I can get the water truck there day after tomorrow. No, I need day water after. Now. Oh God, he's gonna light something. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, freaking matches. Damn. Oh crap. Well, he dragged him out. Come on. Oh, that's his fuse. Oh, God. Oh. You can't deliver, Legero. You're done here. Oh. An explosion. What does the explosion do? Ah! Oh! Water! Oh my gosh. Michael out here like Moses. Bring in the water. That's uh, very useful. N very useful. So much water. Whistler's clear. Yeah. Clear as a blue sky, better. Okay, the bounty's out. Huh. Welcome to the light of day. His legs are probably really going. The only thing that I, that I care about right now is that you and the baby are okay. That's all that matters to me. Oh. Not coming back. It's not because I don't love you, because you know I do. I love you more. I love you more than anything. But all, all I do is bring you down. Uh, I'm not good for you. It's oh. not true. It's not true. It, is. It, is. it is. The only way to protect the people that you love is, is by staying away from them. Oh man. One day, when I get my life together, however long that takes, I'll find you. I would give anything to go back. I wish I had two things. Oh. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. I love you so much, baby. I love you too, baby. Damn, why couldn't you cut a deal like for in C note? it there. Damn. You know, they told me that your oh, brother got all the brains. For goodness sake. I didn't realize you were this stupid. 
toss it. Tomorrow, bar, progress report, I will be waiting. I love how done Lincoln is with everything. She's like, what the fuck ever. Oh, he kept the real one. So it's what do you want? Well, prepare to drown in it. <laughs> yep. Well, so much for the fight ring. So how are we getting out of here? Good question. I have no idea. Yeah, when he went into Fox River, he had a plan. Alrighty. That's... That's... Episode 2. Alrighty. Episode 2. Uh, and honestly, I guess day 2. Now, it's interesting because, you know... Oh, excuse me. It's interesting because we have a very clear timetable about... Uh, about what we're doing. You know, we have to do this in a week. But I'm curious if... I mean, I'm basically curious if, like season one, the end of the season is going to be breaking out, you know? So, I wonder, I mean, seven days, but 13 episodes this season. So I'm very curious, like, how, I don't know, like, how this is going to pace itself out, you know? Um, but even here, like, I feel this is somewhat similar to when we started off in Fox River, where, you know, the second episode of season one was all about getting a bolt, basically. You know, getting the Allen bolt. But Michael had to go through everything with, you know... Uh, that, that was the episode that introduced Teabag, you know? But I guess this time we did make a bit more progress because... We've made a bit more progress than just getting a bolt because we, we have Whistler now. Uh, which is interesting. So, yeah. Alrighty. Um, let's jump right into the notes. Now, I didn't fully hear what he was in for. Um, as you guys probably noticed in the reaction, I don't have subtitles anymore because of how I'm watching uh, these episodes. So, I'm not quite sure... Uh, I'm not quite sure what he said. I wonder if I can kind of go back and find that a bit. Should anything happen to Sarah or LJ, you will scour the earth and hunt me down and rip my heart from my chest and pop up. Uh, I absolutely know how you feel. Let's get I it's it's such an interesting dynamic between Lincoln and Susan. Um, it's it's a very interesting dynamic because here's a woman who is all business you know let's just get to the point let's do this don't stray away from the the plan let's do this 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 and lincoln who is so done with everything you know and i don't know if that's i mean i i get the feeling that's more intentional on dominic purcell's uh part where he's he's playing lincoln to be like ugh, i have to do this i have to deal with the fucking company again you know all this stuff but I don't know. I like. I don't think it's Dominic Purcell being bored with the show or anything, but I like how much Lincoln is bored with it. You know, so that just makes for an interesting dynamic. Kill the mayor by the same son. Bar fight. Mayor. Okay. So. So he killed the mayor of Panama City. Okay. Interesting. He killed the mayor of Panama City, and I guess the new mayor or whatever put in a bounty to Lechero. Whoever, whoever finds and kills him, whoever kills him, gets uh, gets to go in front of a in front of a judge, which is interesting. Um, okay. That's really interesting. And 
they because of everything that's happening all the i guess the political tension around whistler they have they can't just you know go through any other means like they can't bribe the guards or anything like that just to get him out so they have to send in michael in order to bust him out which is interesting um okay but why does the company need him per se why does the company need him per se you know like clearly you know general uh silent bald guy uh he needs him for a reason and that reason must have been known to kim as well but why and it's interesting how this has changed that now instead of you know killing uh all the fox river eight because of what happened you know because they uh they might know too much now it's well let's use them to our advantage which is a strange change but it's very curious you know it's very curious so i like that i like this um more overarching stuff with uh the company now it honestly makes for a a good change from fox river because honestly yeah again like i kind of said last episode you could see this as sort of retreading like oh well we're just back in prison now and now we have to escape the prison again and oh here's all the goofy crazy inmates and stuff and you could easily say it's a repeat of season one but the fact that this is way more i feel like intertwined with the company you know because in season one we didn't really know too much about the company like we didn't see them that much or when we did it was lj or veronica or nick oh, excuse me um it, it was more outside of the prison you know whereas the prison the focus in the prison was the prison and the inmates and stuff like that whereas this time it's more interlaced with the company thanks to uh everything that was established in season two so i i like that even though yes it does kind of feel like all right we're in another prison it here we go it's same old thing as season one but it's different enough to where i can give it a pass you know uh and definitely this whole thing with whistler is very interesting and i'm tr definitely trying to just figure everything out uh which is good so uh, I did really enjoy that. Um, let's see. So, uh, to keep going uh, with... Uh, to kind of group some of these things together. Um, Susan. Susan B. Anthony. Um, yeah, that's... That's a, a very clever cover-up name. Um, but, again, her dynamic with Lincoln is very interesting. Of an aggravated, you know basically an annoyed woman who's just who just wants to get things done and a tired man who just wants to get his brother out of prison like it's it's an interesting dynamic where neither of them want to be there clearly you know and i guess i guess susan is now sort of our new bill kim you know like i guess if every I, I guess every season has, you know, our sort of main person, main agent from the company that we have to deal with. In season one, it's Kellerman. In season two, it's Kim. And now, it's Susan, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, just... Uh, honestly, though, I could kind of see... Like, I, I could see Kellerman saying these same lines, you know? Let's forget about, you know, all the threats that you're going to make to me. You're going to hunt me down and rip my heart out and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get down to business. Let's don't don't ask stupid questions. Don't waste my time. Let's get to it. You know, I, I can see Kellerman saying these things. I can see Kim saying it, but I wouldn't take Kim as seriously, you know? So I wonder what that actor does. Uh, what else that actor does. I'd be very curious. I could see him in some more comedy stuff, you know? But, um, but yeah, him trying to be threatening does not work. It's just very, like, it's his face, it's his smile. It's a, it's a great smile. It's a very punchable smile when he needs it to be punchable. That's how he portrayed it, and I loved it. But, yeah, I wonder what he, what he's doing now. Nah. 
Well, instead, now we have Susan. It would have been kind of weird if it was Kim. Like, if, if for some reason... I mean, but Kim had to die in order for Michael to go to Sona anyway. So, anyway. But, yeah. So, we've got a week to do this. And it's interesting, again, the other, the other aspect of this that's different from Fox River is... With Fox River, Michael went in with a plan. You know? Point A, point B. Everything's covered. He's got to make allies with John Abruzzi to get a plane. He's got to make allies with Westmoreland to get the money. He gets Lincoln. He gets out. That's it. You know? Like, maybe the most... Like, the only other thing would have been his cellmate. You know? Because he had to take his cellmate with him. You know? Because, yeah, he doesn't want to... He doesn't want his cellmate to rat him out. Luckily, that ended up being Sucre, so it worked out. Um, so, yeah, like, that was the thing. And then different things happened that threw Michael off course. I mean, even down to halfway through the season, basically, they tried the escape. Didn't work. They had to go back. And luckily, you know, Lincoln's execution was delayed. So they kept going. He kept improvising, making a new way based on the methods he was already using. This time, we have even less time to get Whistler out of there, and we have absolutely no idea. Like, this is complete improv on Michael's part. He does not know this place inside out. He doesn't know how it works. He It's all improvised, and he's already inside without a plan. He has to come up with a plan on the fly. And as we've seen over the course of, you know, two seasons, Michael Schofield is not great at improv. You know, like he can, he can, but it's never as effective as when he plans things out, you know? So that is a very, very difficult thing for him to now do. Um, so let's see. Other stuff this episode. Um... Well, we got Mahone. Mahone trying to uh, get the bounty on Whistler. But, nope, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Poor poor Mahone. Man, I hope, I hope Mahone can join the team. I hope Michael lets him join the team at some point. Because you kind of need him. You need him. I mean, you don't, but I need him. I need Mahone. I need Mahone to get to his... To his wife and his son and go live a quiet life you know uh but it's gonna be difficult and you know like i can see i can see michael taking bellick because i, I would imagine he's looking at bellick like okay bellick's a pain in the ass but he doesn't deserve to be here you know and Teabag, he does, he absolutely would not. And Mahone, he doesn't, but he, I want him to, you know? It's like, ah, I want them all to get out, but we'll have to see. Uh, speaking of Bellic, um, uh, well, first off, we had, uh, the trade, uh, we had the trade for, uh, the information on Whistler, uh, which did get him some clothes, which is good. So, he got some clothes, he got some food and water. So, Bellic, I mean, that was clever of him. Clever of him to do. Um, and he he got that he got that trade before Mahone could, you know? So that was at least good. Um and then yeah, so what I what did I tell you guys last season? I said there is no way that he could have trapped Mari Cruz that quickly before uh Sucre got back. And sure enough, sure enough, uh he just he just basically told Mari Cruz to hightail it, and she did. She went back to Chicago, but yeah, he was bluffing. I knew it. Um, and yeah, Sucre, Sucre could have gone, but it would have been very difficult to get into uh, to get back into uh, the U.S. You know, so now uh, I like how you know. Yes, it's letting go. You know, to make sure that the person you love stays safe, you have to stay away from them. I get that. I do like, however, that he says, look, I'm going to get my life together. I don't know how long that's going to take, but once I do, I'm going to find you, you know? I mean, I don't see why... 
I don't see why Mari Cruz just can't come back. Like, the, I, there's no reason for that. Hector has just been completely dropped from the plot. I don't think they're ever going to bring him back, uh, which is interesting. Like, they had that moment of like, oh, I know where they're going, and I'm going to cut him off at the pass or something. And then just, they've never brought him back. Like, I don't know what happened there, but they just never brought Hector back. Um, but... Because Bellic was the reason, is like, oh, you know, I'll get you arrested or whatever, and it's like, so that's why she left. But if she already left, there's no reason for her not to go back, you know, because the company's not going to be hunting Sucre. It's just, you know, I guess Border Patrol, basically, just you know, the normal uh, American agencies. So I don't see why Mari Cruz just can't go back to Mexico, and then there you go. You know, like, why why can't she just go back and then she and Sucre just live a, a quiet life in, you know, with the alpacas? I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. But, but still, Sucre has let her go. Now, will Sucre be a part of the main plot? I don't know. I could honestly see Sucre being like, alright, well, pff, I'm out. I guess I gotta go now. But he may team up with Lincoln... He may team up with Lincoln to help, and that may even be good for Lincoln to have, you know, to have someone who can go do something without, uh, without Susan noticing. Because that was the other thing, is he confronted, uh, Sophia and found out about the book. Uh, and that was very, very clever that he went and he got another copy of the book to give to them instead, you know? So, that was really, really good. Um, because, yeah, like, I, I, like, immediately Susan's like... You immediately went off course. You are an idiot. And, you know, they're just going through this whole thing. And and again, she's holding him at gunpoint. And he's just he's just got this look of, like, what the fuck ever, bitch. You know? Like, I just kind of like that. And, yeah, he hands over the book. But it's a different copy of the book. That was really, really clever. So, yeah, I really like that. And, yeah, it could be that now, if Sucre teams up with Lincoln that um that now uh Lincoln has another card up his sleeve, you know? He has someone who can go do something without uh without them realizing it, you know? Maybe. I mean, it's entirely possible though that they'll recognize Sucre. So I don't know. Um but yeah, but I like that. Um and then the other thing about uh Sucre is I'm curious if Sucre will say, will call Bellic's mother, you know? Because, I mean, yeah, she's got to be worried sick. Her son's just gone, you know? Uh, probably doesn't even know he's in prison, but I, I, I'd i be curious about that. I, I did like that moment. Man, poor Bellic, such a character change for him, you know? Um, but still, still a man looking out for himself, you know? Uh, we had the whole thing with the mutiny uh, with Lechero, which was interesting. Um... And yeah, just no water. That's just crazy. Um, I feel like the other guy should be punished a little bit, you know? The other guy should be punished a little bit because... Um, because he was the reason that they ran out of water, you know? Uh, but yeah, so they had the whole thing with the mutiny. But Michael was able to uh, not only solve Lechero's problem, but he also, uh, in doing so, got the bounty off of... Uh, he got the bounty off of uh, Whistler, which was good. And yeah, using that uh, bomb, basically, in order to, uh, I guess, blow the pipes and let the water flow. That was really, really clever. And now, they all have water, thank God. <sighs> so that was really, really clever. Again, it's Michael, he can improvise. Michael can improvise. It's just so tricky for him to do it, you know? But yeah, and now... I like that, you know, Whistler can go out into the sunlight and get some get some vitamin D for his friggin' legs. Like, we don't know how long he's been down there. It's probably affecting his legs, you know? Um, but, yeah. But he, he can be above ground now. And I like that moment. It's like, all right, so how do we get out of here? And Michael's like, I have no idea. But, yeah, gonna be tricky. Gonna be tricky. But we'll have to find out. But yeah, another really good episode. Again, for the premise of this season being we're in prison again. 
these writers really know how to do it and i'm very i'm very very curious as to where we are going next but that is basically it with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care all right, guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Prison Break reactions, as well as another video that you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.